This is the algebraic expression of the cube. Today we're going to be looking again at the binomial cube. In previous presentations we've used variables and today we're going to be substituting those variables with numbers. We're going to substitute our A length with the number 6 and our B length with the number 3. And we will be finding the cube of 6 plus 3. The first thing that we will do is label our components. Here we have our 6 cube. Then these would be our a squared b, but with numbers we're going to label them as 6 squared times 3. And we have three of those. Then we have our b squared a, and today we are calling those 3 squared times 6 and we have three of those. Last we have our b cube, or today our three cube. Our next step will be to pull our terms down and to form an equation. So again we're starting with six plus three cubed. We're going to bring down our six cube. We're going to add six squared times three and we'll add 6 squared times 3. Then we'll be adding our 3 squared times 6. Going back and adding our 6 squared times 3. Adding 3 squared times 6. adding 3 squared times 6, and then last adding our 3 cube. The students can reduce these terms. They have 6 cubed plus 3 times 6 squared times 3 plus 3 times 6 times 3 squared plus 3 cubed. Next, we would be reducing these terms again. We have 216 plus 3 times 108 plus 3 times 54 plus 27. That's going to equal 216 plus 324 plus 162 plus 27, which will equal 729. They can check their work by taking 6 plus 3 cubed or 9 cubed. 9 cubed equals 729, and that shows that their work is correct.